Hello everybody, welcome How back. How are we all today? How's life? Welcome How's everyone to doing? The zone. <laughs> so essentially this video is an old school classic favourite video. video. However, we're just gonna jazz it up. Our obsession. Our obsession. This is what we're obsessed Not with favorite, right now. Obsessions. Like we're obsessed with these things, and then hopefully so, it will change every month yeah. and we'll have new obsessions. So this is gonna be even got, though really even it's though gone. even though we're in the middle of September now, this is gonna be our our obsessions August, so like last month. And a bit of September. Bit of September. Then end of this month we can do September. November, you see that's October, you missed here. October. As, yeah, yeah, October. Yeah. All, all so like it's just gonna be all the bits we're loving. We've got quite a lot of things. Some of them you've seen before, however, you've not heard our thoughts, maybe thoughts our in-depth thoughts. And now we know we're gonna be doing these videos. In the future, we're gonna try and leave our favourites for the favourites video and yes. not so much show them in, in vlogs other and stuff. shit. And so it's like, God, what do they like this one? What do they like? It's actually a purpose to for this. Because otherwise like, we're like, we fucking saw that. It's last seen week, all this girl already. Bit. It needs to have some sort of purpose. And I thought like you've seen all of this. Yeah, me too. From one thing, but this is our Don't new. click off. Don't click off. You can stay. Just in case you've not resonated and clicked onto the things we're talking about. Yeah, they might not have. They might not have. So let's dive in. These are our obsessions oh, right obsession. now. Dive in. Oh. You just that Sarah Basca. Sarah Basca. Yeah. Right. So my first obsession is Adidas trainers. Adidas. Now, Adidas. Adidas. These are. So when did I buy these? Uh, like the beginning of September maybe? Yeah, yeah. In the beginning of August, 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 August. I think it was. And these are the Adidas Young One. Apparently they're sold out. So I'm very privileged, privileged, <laughs> privileged. to have these. I feel but apparently quite... on, um, you know those Instagram sites where you can buy the cool yes, trainers? Yes. They are buying those right now and selling right. them. So, so they they're must like be available somewhere. somewhere. Yeah. I have seen, they have them in orange and yellow and white also. And I've seen them in like my local size. So I feel like they're still available in some sizes. Yeah. But maybe small women's sizes. You might struggle. Like you might be, it might be easy to get like a big man's size, but... But I don't know. Have a look online. But these are my f I, I bob set. They're so comfy, and I just think they're very cool. Very with, cool. With tr with jeans, shorts. Granted, we're wearing shorts that much now. No. But I also wear them to the gym if I'm just like lifting. Do you? Yeah, I wear them to the gym today. Because they're just comfy for the stepper. Yeah. Is, they're really comfy trainer. Good support. One time I forgot to bring my trainers to the gym and all I had on was those misguided like fucking rocks. Oh no. And my feet, I was doing stepping for half an hour, my feet went numb and they were stinging. My feet went numb and were stinging. And those Balenciaga looking And those Balenciaga, yeah. And my, they were, it was making my toes Mind you, I like, wore those in Miami when we were doing the stepper and I was fine. Yeah, I really struggled. And then I, for the rest of my workout I just had to take my trainers off and walk around and hold them. I was like, I don't even give a fuck if you're looking at me. Actually, though, from that though, a lot of people wear bare feet that's what in I was the gym. Next time you do step, take off your shoes. Is it better? I mean, not step, sorry. Wait. Squats. Yeah. Because it feels so good to have just socks on as people you're squatting do down. say that. Yeah. Take on your socks, take your shoes yeah. off. So it was but a blessing like, in disguise mm. because it was really good. I taught you a lesson. Yeah, I might do it today. So yeah, okay. I love these ones. And I have another bed to show, but I'll show you after. Okay, um, my first favourite is this. <gasps> now I was speaking Gizu. about this when I first got it. So this is actually the travel size. This is the Gizu honey infused hair oil Squash. by our favourite girl Negan. Negan! Negan! This is her like she has a hair brand. Whilst I'm at it I may as well show you this as well. This is Gizu as well. So this is her heat protectant spray. So yeah these are my two new. Now I never used to use any sort of hair products. I was literally yeah. just shampoo, conditioner, that was it. But these have actually changed my hair care routine. And now I actually feel like I have a hair care routine. That's fantastic. And they Very honestly amazing. have made, they're not the cheapest things in the world. They are literally, they're quite pricey. Well, I just used this for the first time today and it's so thick to it's other oils honestly, that I use. It's glorious. I was never into like a hair oil. I was just not into it. But these have honestly really changed mm -hmm. the hair care routine. And yeah. I've really noticed the difference. I think before... When I use this now, like you can really feel it, just gives you such a yeah. silky hair. Silky, it adds a bit of a shine. Yeah. I'm gonna and get this it. is just really, it's a heat protectant spray, but I was using it on holiday as well because it's got UVA, UVB yeah, yeah, protection, yeah. so it stops your hair going that weird colour in the sun. A bit weird. You know, if, some, if you dye your hair, sometimes the bit sun weird. can change it. And it's just a nice, refreshing mist because it smells really nice. So I do recommend Gizu products. If you want to treat yourself, they aren't the cheapest, but I would 
definitely repurchase and repurchase. They they are worth the money. So Fantastic. they're my favourites. Can't you live without them now. I'm gonna hop on the oil. Yeah, I think Hi. you really need to. Okay, next up, I'll show my next pair of trainers. Why not? These are a newer addition to the trainer Adidas the trainer family. gang. And these are the new Adidas Falcons. Um in this colour, I don't know what this colour is called. Multi, but they have them in other shades. I know Imogen's just bought the black with the pink. Yeah. I know there is an all white, or like mm. there's more, there's like a grey one or something. Yeah. But look at the sole, I think that's really fun. But yeah, I really like these. There's a little mirror there. And I like the yellow. Yeah, the yellow. I just think they're fun. Like, if yeah. I was in an all white outfit, all black, I just think it's a bit just fun. Just something different on the shoe. Yeah, and again, they're a similar shape to the Falcons. So if anyone is after the Falcons, young. to the Young, sorry, similar shape to the Young. So if you can't get hands on the Young, the Falcons. They essentially look identical. They do, and they're not really going out of stock, these. Well, I'm not sure. They've but just you managed out. to get a hold of them. But yeah, I managed, and so did Imogen. And they were all in the shops they in were, London. They were, yeah, they were. So yeah, love them. Yeah, so yeah. And they're only, for a trainer, £84. Some it's Adidas, like, proper trainers, 120 150 Yeah. So in retrospect, 84 it's not going to kill you. Not, yeah, yeah, and there's a little Adidas. I just think they're cute. And again, I say true to size. I get a lot of questions like, did you size up, size down? Are they true to size? True, true to, size. to size. Just order your size and then... However, I did order size five and a half in these just because I was thinking I was being clever. And they are too big. <laughs> but this is a five and they're perfect. I was just like, I'm going to get a size of five and a half because I just think... But actually, I'm a small five and almost four, so I don't yeah, even know why so I did that. that wasn't a brave but decision. If anything, it makes my legs wise. look skinnier because it makes my feet look big. bigger. Yeah, so. that, that was the thinking behind these trainers. Yeah, I think that's these why. These are my that. another trainers, another trainers that I've got. Other trainers, another trainers. This is Basically trainers. Basically, a bit of a haul, really. This is kind of a haul. Until we get to the lifestyle bits, though. Yeah, and yeah. these are from Zara. Now, I wasn't sure about these because I thought I'm kind of I over like this them. whole platform sole, but I saw them and I was like, I really want just a neutral trainer. beige nude trainer because I've got a lot of white trainers. I just wanted something like this essentially, yeah. and. I don't like them with bare legs. I don't like them when I've got bare legs. I only really like them on me with jeans. It's not going to be an issue though, because going into winter. Going into winter, exactly. So I do really like them. They are really comfy. Again, true to size. I got a size six. Um, I did wear them in the rain. Um, and they did get slightly ruined, but they you can't really tell. You it's not really a more. pressing issue. Um, but yeah, really like them. Again, not the cheapest. I think they were £70, which is quite a lot oh, of Zara trainers. That is. But they, they are, are the heavy duty, you know, they're a proper shoe. Oh shit, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I really like them. I'm happy with the purchase. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, just nice so with, you know, new um, white denim, looks nice with blues. Yeah, it does. Someone sent me a DM actually showing me these new ones on Ego. They're like nude, actually look quite nice. Ah, trainers. Mm. As long as they're like good quality and stuff. Yeah, because. Mm. Yeah. Moving on, next up is this little beauty. This uh, little beauty. You've seen this bitch before, <laughs> uh, but she's back. She's the bitch is I'm back. Bit, I'm a bit obsessed with her, to be honest. I'm just going to take these off because she looks key to when these are off. When these are off. Talk about it. I've seen this in orange, which I think is really They sweet. have it in red. Really want it in red. So it's, it's this little baby. And this um, is my favourite bag, it's full, got full of my shit. Should we do what's in my bag? Okay. This is actually fun. Wow. Okay. Yes. We have three things I need to go collect for the post office. Uno, two, three. I was actually going to do, uh, there's two I can get in town, but this one's my local one. Like, Why'd you have to go to town? That's quite a lot of hassle. Yeah, what's that Mine's one normally just at the end of the road. Next, oh my god, this is definitely an obsession. Dr. Lip Balm. Oh my god, this is nipple balm. Nipple balm. It's, okay, it's listen original everyone. nipple balm for lips. For dry skin, luscious lips, and glossy bits. Oh my god, glossy how funny bits. is that? Glossy bit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is honestly incredible. This, this is, is what incredible. it looks like. Honestly, this, this is the best lip balm in the world. It's, it's so thick, look, moisturizing, nourishing. Well, I'd squeeze it up, but then we'd have We've to We've literally it. been I'll using this. I'll squeeze it up and then we can put it on nipples. I can put it on my knees. Look how thick. Oop, oop. <laughs> oh, it's clean, it's stuck back in. It's fine, I suck spot. back in. It's a fantastic. Like if, you, if you've got chaplets and you're going to sleep, put it on, thick layer, honestly. Yeah. Just before your makeup. If you've got dry, dry patches, patches. I would put it on my knees. Yeah. Granted, I've not put it on my nipples yet because I don't breastfeed. That's for nursing mother. Nursing mothers. Nurse nursing mothers. mothers. Nursing mothers. Nursing mothers, yeah. I've put it on my... Um, that must be really quite painful. Elbows before. Do they get chapped? Yeah, they nipples? get cracked. They get like scabby. But babies have got no teeth. But it's still, it's a lot of friction. 
most of the day. Think how often I'm not going to be able to survive because I've got really sensitive nipples. My beards have grown so much. I don't know if it's just because I've put on a bit of weight. Oh, that's pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> Baby's off the But they actually have grown. Maybe you need I remember like bomb. six months ago, they were quite small and a bit deflated, but now they've like really come, come to, to life. Sense. Great, you she heard wants, it here first. <laughs> she can do the <laughs> sessions, my boobs <laughs> <are> bigger. <laughs> so yeah, if you're looking for a really good lip, I don't, honestly, I don't know where the fuck I got this from. I don't. It, you, you told me that was your mum's. Right, there we go then. But I'll, I'm sure it's on boots. Or We've been using this below. since year 11. This used to be in Chintzia's blazer inside pocket. Oh my god, it fucking did. He wants some nipple balm. Mate, how the hell? On the bus in the morning at like fucking half past seven when it was freezing how cold. How the hell is this? I've I mean, still got this. I don't know how you've hung on to that because you you, you lose a lot of yeah. shit. And how you hung on to that, yeah. I've got oh no idea. Oh my god, listen, it's 100% lanolin. You know what lanolin is? Lano lips. That's what. Sheeps. That's sheep. Yeah, it is, and that's um, what, that's what, um, it says sweat, isn't it? Oh, We've no. We've had this discussion before. That's what Imogen was telling us about, that she puts in her brows. Oh my God, that's why we stopped using it. Because it was sheep. Because we realised what it sheep was. Sheep bones. No, it was oh, their sweat. Great. It was like the juices from their fur. Ew! Oh no, Lano Lips has been ruined. Nipple balm has been ruined. <gasps> I didn't actually realise it was Lano That's Lano why Lano we Lano. stopped using it. It, it was, was because we did stop using it. I used to have a little pink thing called Lano Lips and then we read it. I was like, what the fuck is Lano Lips? And we looked it up one time at school like, oh shit me. <laughs> Fucking hell, what the fuck? Because it always had a little sheep on it. I was like, why has it got a sheep on it? This Lano Lips oh. tube, do you remember? However, I think I'm going to keep using this because it is fantastic. Okay, I have two pairs of sunglasses. This is fun. This is what's in my bag. These are my favourite sunglasses. I don't know why. They're in my bag as well. No. I carry these around because I think I'm a quite cool girl. Yeah. I'm a cool girl. These ones girl. are Quay ones, which are a classic. Key. Key, sorry. Key. And these are a Topshop one. Whoever, I got these in a vlog. Yeah, sure, I got did. them both in a vlog. Oh my God, look how fucking <laughs> dirty that is. Look through there. <laughs> <laughs> look through there. Don't think you can see. <gasps> but yeah, they're just... dirty. But yeah, those favourite sunglasses. This. Obsession. Favourite Oh colours. yeah, this is an obsession. I got this in whatever. And other stories. Ah! Shit. Stores all my things. Stores checks. Stores jewellery. Stores the pills. Yeah, I've got a check there. Um, and stores all stores my cards. Stores the pill. Stores the pill. We're not advertising that by the way. You should do sexual health as you please. Sexual yeah. Health. Whatever is best sexual for you. Not for me. Whatever that's for you. <laughs> then I have the tried and tested Kiko Milano Velvet Passion Matte Lipstick in 301. Got that on today, actually. Gorgeous. I have. With some gloss on top. 301 or 302. You take your pick. Great nude. Yeah, either ones are fantastic. <laughs> and then we just have some headphones and some keys for my home and some bubbles. Classic. So, yeah, this bag is great. This is a whole obsession. People thing have here. told me that they're on fucking um, eBay for really cheap, which kind of makes me sad. That's kind of sad. Because I'm like, oh, it's not special, and is it? But the eBay people, have a look. But so never where did left. you get that one from? Seen on her. Seen on but her. I, there's a lot of online little Instagram shops doing them. Seen on her have it in red, and they have loads of other cute bags. And I really want to get the red, and I really want these little nude ones. I had. saw a girl with it in it's orange. It's just a lovely it's shape. Gorge. I just really like the shape, and it's I just love. I would even love that shape if it was just a normal bag, not even this whole clear with the writing they on it. Do. That shape as a whole is a really Seen nice on shape. Her, I do. That's a really that little croc ones. Oh, I like that. Yeah, and it does come with a long strap as well, which I enjoy to use also. Okay, next is my favourite scent. <gasps> so if, me anyone too. Wants, if anyone wants to know what me and Chintzia smell like, this. it's Black Opium by YSL. I used spray? to use this maybe about six months ago, and then I ran out, and then I went on to Victoria's Secret scents. Oh, it's a beautiful oh, smell. Spray me. It's I did. I sprayed you three oh, times. Thank you. You missed out. Just in the hoodie. Um, yeah, this is literally my favourite perfume. It's, it's just a really nice smell. I can't describe a perfume to you guys. I don't know how. So I'm this is to the original. That. This is not the Floral Shock. I used to use Floral Shock, and then we got original. Yeah, they're very similar. Like they are similar. But um, yeah, we got this in an airport once. Was it on the way back from yeah. somewhere? Somewhere. We just travel so much. Yeah, I can't think where. Um, but yeah, a yeah. really great perfume if anyone's on the hunt for it. must have been Miami. If anyone for Christmas is asking for a new perfume this or wants it. a new perfume, it's like, I really like it's this. It's so sexy and musky. It is, but at the same time, it's feminine, it's feminine and floral. Yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely... 
Because I'm always like, I want a sexy musky scent. Yeah, and this is it. I want to be that woman. I remember when I was younger, right? I had yeah. to get the bus to school. And there'd always be this woman, well, this woman which would walk on the bus, yeah. looking all glam, amazing. Oh. And she'd just bring this scent oh. onto the bus. And I'd be like, wow, she smells amazing. I and I want to be her. Someone that you walk by and think, oh, who was that? That smells delicious. Because I have this I'm like... <sighs> yeah, who is that? If I you get in a taxi, sp- yeah. you just feel the... Not too much, you don't want to make people cough well, no, and overpower people. I did get people. into an Uber before and it was like, God, <laughs> you're making me cough. You made it, you put the windows down so like, well, your pet is making me cough. I was like, chill out, it's not that strong. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I aspire to be. Yeah. And I think I'm trying to do this with this scent. Yeah, it's delish. And it sticks on your clothes. It I does. spray it on my clothes and I'm like, ooh. Still and then, it. like, if you haven't washed the garment, it will still smell. It will still smell of it. Like, let me smell this. It's not been washed in a while. <laughs> That's going to have the smell on there for ages because it sticks to hoodies. I love that. So I was like, yeah. okay, I, I'm actually going to do next little ankle socks. Little socks that have little stripes and little socks to go with my trainer obsession. Yeah. So I have a few that I'm loving. Oh, I did bring my just, socks, actually. This is just an example of some, but I'm... I'm putting together a beautiful, a beautiful collection, collection, I'm not going to lie. So I have some little I remember she only had one pair of Nikki Studio socks. Yeah, yeah. And she loved them, them that much, she wore them when they were wet. Yeah, I did. Her mum was like, they've been washed, they're wet, you can't wear them. I was like, like fucking need like, them. I'm doing it, I'm wearing them. So I had little soggy toes for a while. <laughs> but yeah, these are men's Adidas ones, I believe. Got these on ASOS in like a three pack. Yeah. For like £10. And then these ones are cool, cool, cool. These ones are Elise ones. Wow. And I have these on pink. ASOS and I bought a three pack. I like the pink. So this is like baby, oh here you go, there you can see. So there's an Elise there, baby pink. Came in a three pack. Other ones have got baby blue. Other ones are like uh, a lemon. Ooh. Really cute. Just with the, I like these. With the trainers. With just the, oh, an all white trainer. Yes. A lot of faff. Yeah. With the pink. With the pink. But then with the more faffy trainers I'll go with the more like simple the simple mood. option yeah. yeah but I'm loving little socks I love wearing like the train the sock and the jean me too I think it looks really you look a bit sporty I definitely love something it about it a big oversized hoodie jumper yeah. little socks and the trainers yeah oh, I like that one well. of my favorite looks right now me too okay another favorite is oh, these yeah. cr- um cover fx both got them cheers kiss these drops and basically we got these because Negan uses them so we thought we'd use Negan! them now. So, um, this is the colour Moonlight we got ours in. Give them a whirl. I feel like a mukbanger showing you my food. <sighs> Yummy. Oh, is that ASMR? Yeah. Basically, we now squeeze these into our foundation. And granted, I didn't do it today because I was rushing. I was rushing. About to say, didn't I? But it actually adds a really nice, just shine you yeah, know you just do like a little bit in your foundation mix it on your hand and just put it on it just gives your foundation a really nice just inner glow like, i think oh my god my face is gonna look metallic but you don't know it doesn't it just it doesn't. makes you look luminous yeah and that's... it just adds more of a glow you've got your highlighter but it just adds more of just a skin glow and this is the one in moonlight they have loads of other ones moonlight. but this is one negging you so this is the one we got but we will buy some other ones because it has some more beautiful golden I know, ones. I kind of think we should have got more of a golden Me one too. because this is quite like a rose goldy, silvery, rose, rose gold. goldy, quite cool tone. Whereas we're more goldy yeah. bronze. But I wonder, Neg- we do what Megan says and she loves us to get this I one. I wonder so. what the iconic drops compare like. How they compare. I'm sure they're pretty similar to I'm honest. sure they're pretty similar. But um, yeah, we've both, I've really been enjoying that. Okay, next up is my favourite foundation. I have gone through phases with this foundation. Like, I'll use it for ages, love it, run out, and then buy a different one and move on, then forget about it, and then come back. And this is what's happened this time. I remember I got it for the first time in sixth form. Do you remember? Yes, do you remember that? We did. Nars Sheer Glow. Is this Nars Sheer Glow? This is Nars Sheer Glow in the shade now. My favourite shade is what I've gone today is Stromboli. I really so, like this shade. So, do we look shade. different colours? Because I've got... We do. I'm wearing Nars Sheer Glow look in paler. Barcelona. Barcelona. So that's Stromboli. Next time I'm going to get Stromboli. Stromboli. It's slightly slightly more yellow toned. And it's just slightly. Slightly. Like there's barely They're essentially the same colour. When we, when we tried them in the shop on our palms, we were like, right, it's not much looking different. But then I just literally just wanted to switch it on Try and get new. Stromboli. But if I'm ever a bit, want to be a bit tanned, I'll just add a random dark. A dark foundation it always does the drop but I, no, I, last year glow is my favorite i think foundation ever, i ever. think i prefer it to luminous silk me too we've tried that it wasn't really my favorite no, I, I, whole I don't think left. i'd buy it again no but I, I, i'd buy this again yeah 100%. and also this isn't like ridiculously expensive Giorgio no. armani is yeah what 55 pounds i thought Giorgio armani was 
just not very great. I much prefer much this. Prefer this. I much prefer now. If, if you want to invest in like a new foundation that's not so cheap, get this. Don't get Giorgio Armani. Nice shade glow. This is great. How and much is this? Get, it's between like 30, twenty and thirty, 30 pounds. I think. I think it's twenty nine or thirty two. Yeah, something like that. I, but it's, so it's not drugstore, it's not no. like £11, but equally it's not 60 yeah. you know? If you use it sparingly, it will last you like at least six months. Yeah, they do last a while. Yeah. It's my favourite foundation yeah, as well. me too. Okay, next, yeah, I've true. got my new favourite pair of jeans, and I've been wearing these on the Insta, and I've been getting a lot of ask questions about me where too. these are from. Me too. And I have been tagging them, but some of you just don't pay attention. So these are from Topshop, and these are my new favourite jeans. I've worn them in a few of these, one of me a few too, me too. So these are... Topshop Motto Mom Jeans. I, I'm sure they're the light denim colour. Yeah, these are the light, I think that these are the lightest. When I went on, they, they had a one. few different colours yeah. and it was like bleach, something, something. And these are just the lightest blue I think you can yeah. get. But I really recommend them, I really like them. They're a cool. really nice fit. Granted, when I first got them, they are quite stiff. But I but think then once you, the more yeah. you wear them, the more you kind of crease them up, they get a lot more comfortable. Because when I first wore them, I thought, mm, it's quite painful to sit down. These are digging into me a bit. Yeah. But um, yeah, the and more you wear them, the more they, the more they give. They don't and I really flatten, like them. They don't flatten your bum. No, not mine. Do a bit. Mine are um, all right now. I think because I've loosened them up, they kind of lift my bum a bit up, more. Yeah. That's the tip, that's the struggle with jeans. It's hard to get them, because I tried a pair of those on which didn't flatten my bum, but they were too big around the waist. It's hard to get it fitting everywhere, you know? Um, but yeah, I really recommend those. They're a really good, a good jean. I'm really happy they're with the purchase. And they're not like 60 quid, they're like no, 29. No, they're two Topshop, so what are Topshop jeans? Like 30? Are they, or are they 40? Between 30 and 40, I think. Not more than 40. Okay, next up I'm gonna say is guest garments. I've got guest um, garment. Cause, because, I don't know, I just think it's very cool Guess right now. Guess where these are from? Guess. Oh my god, I totally didn't even get that. Oh, you fucking idiot. But I just did. Yes, can you guess where this can is from, Can you guess everybody? where it's from? <laughs> so, yeah, I really like the brand. They have loads of cool shit. Um, we saw a man in Urban Outfitters yesterday with a really cool Oh my guest god, it was, it was a jumper crew neck and it was white and in like navy. It, it said guest, guest jeans. jeans. But the two S's were dollar signs. And then did it say like Los Angeles on it? Something cool like that. It was fucking sick. Oh, I want that. It was sick. And also, I've seen, look for that online. I've seen online there's some little guest socks. White. Ooh. Saying guest. I was like, fucking need them. That's cool. I just need... I want like some cool shit. Some cool uh, shit. Like a black hoodie, like a black hoodie, blah blah blah. Yeah. blah. But yeah, more t shirts. So oversized t shirts, etc. I just think it's a cool brand. Yeah, I'm really a fan of this hoodie. Different colour sleeves. I actually bought this in the vlog and I did go ahead and purchase it. So I'm really happy with the purchase. I've slept in this for the past few nights. She did. Because um, I forgot pyjamas on our little trip. Yeah. Um, but yeah, really comfy. I really like it with denim jeans. I've worn this with like a white t-shirt underneath a bit longer than the hoodie and white cycling shorts, white socks, white trainers. Quite cute. Um, oh God. Absolutely rude. exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these kind of match actually. They do. I feel like they have like quietly connecting. Yeah. Well, we've got mustard, mustard, yeah. blue, bit of blue. So yeah, I absolutely love it. Me too. And um, we got, we both got these from Urban Outfitters. Men's. That's where we men. Honestly, women's not really it's doing bits. Shit, no. So always go straight to the men's for oversized. Okay, plumber. That's some respect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last thing. If this last thing you're not got any more. Well, I can also vouch for Okay, that. she can vouch as well. Okay, so this is our new favourite lip liner, which is by Laura Mercier, and this is in the shade Natural Lips. Who wants a close up? That's Me. what it looks like. Do you know what I was really impressed about? That it came with a sharpener. Came with a sharpener? In the box. Oh, oh you idiot. Have you not seen it? No, I haven't. It must be at the bottom of the it's box. It's at the other end of the box. Perfect. Like a really good one. Because I was literally thinking, I opened it and I was like, oh my god, like when this goes blunt, I don't have a really good sharpener. A sharpener's in the box. Perfect. Kind of makes it worth the price. Okay, the yes. Well, this is literally a perfect nude lip liner. It's honestly a new favourite. Yes. And now I'm like, I need to get more Laura Mercier lip liners. But I've never thought to get a lip liner from Laura Mercier. Yeah, but they are so creamy, really pigmented, go on really smoothly. And yeah, I'm a huge fan. So we need to get some more colours. I'm recommending Laura Mercier lip liners. They have loads of different like nudie ones that. The hazelnut tea was what Negan yes. uses. 
and that was a bit more pinky. And then the woman at the counter suggested some that we should some try. Some sort of cinnamon -y Cinnamon something. Something. So I'm gonna have, we need to go back and have a look at other shades, but they had lots of nice nudes, lots of pinks, yeah. lots of options. So if anyone's looking for a new lip liner, Natural Lips, Laura Mercier, Gorge. highly recommend. It's Gorge. the only one I'm using. It's the only one I'm using right Me now. Me too. That concludes our August obsessions, our current obsessions. Yes. I'm actually and excited to see what our obsessions, next obsessions are, are going to be. Because the aim is that we can't re-show no. stuff. So we can't yeah. show stuff next month, which is in this no. month. And That's next so month fun. we're going to try and keep things a bit more under wraps. So it's actually going to be yeah. new it's stuff. Surprising. Otherwise, what's I, the point? I, I, isn't that so exciting? We don't know what our obsessions are going to be. We've got no be. idea what our obsessions are going to be. What could they be? We don't know. We don't know. Wait and see. Wait and see. Thanks watching. for watching, guys. Everything that we've showed here, we're going to link below so and you can have we a browse. We'll see you in, in a, a few, few days. days. Kiss, kiss. Love you lots.